Please do not forget that every single person you watch on YouTube once started with zero subscribers. Every single person you look up to once started with not very much. And you'll be looking back at your current position in years to come from now with a smile on your face, I guarantee it. Because it's the contrast that makes it so valuable. It's the fact that you aren't where you want to be right now that gives it purpose and gives you the opportunity to get into a much more desirable position in life. And that is the, the best part, right? And the four skills that I'm going to be sharing in this video have allowed me personally to go from someone that didn't go to university, I was anxious, I was pretty much depressed, I was failing, to the person that has made multi six figures. Um, and I made my first 100,000 by the age of 19. So I'm 20 now, and I'm, I generally have sat down and thought about what are like the four skills that have allowed me to get into this position. And I'm not claiming to be a multi, multi-millionaire. I'm just someone that has had a bit of success and wants to share it with you guys. So nonetheless, right, let's dive straight into this. I was once you, so this is gonna be an extremely helpful um, video for you, right? I was doubting whether it would work, making money online, running an agency, I, I was doubtful. And I was actually scared of working hard in case that it didn't pay off. I was scared to sacrifice my time because I was thinking, oh, what happens if it doesn't work? And I, I know what you're going through right now. And if you can master these skills in this current year, 2024, you are going to do very well. Like, I promise, right? And yeah, this is just what I've experienced from the first two years of entrepreneurship, going from someone, once again, who couldn't sign clients no matter how hard I tried, and it actually felt like the more I was trying, the less I was getting, which is um, a paradox. But yeah, like these are the four skills to get ahead. Number one, let's dive straight into this digital persuasion. So think about who makes the most money. It's for people that have the ability to persuade others through words. Like what I'm doing right now, I am speaking and I encourage you to do a lot more speaking rather than typing. And it's not those that use their hands. Think about it. In fact, people that use their hands to try to try and make money, they work a lot harder they yeah like it, it's just what it is just how it is like generally think about it who do you look up to i guarantee you that the person you look up to or multiple people maybe in your head right now they have the ability to convey conviction and story tell and that is what is important and you have to become good at this like if you don't do this you're just leaving a ridiculous amount of money on the table so communication and stories are the biggest lever you can pull right now. It's the educators that make money, right? And most of you know who Sabri Subi is. He is a Shark Tank investor in Australia, I think. Um, he's worth like $75 million. He's done over $7 billion for his clients. And he runs a simple marketing agency called King Kong. He runs ads for businesses. And it's a done-for-you agency, right? But he's still an educator. And I was breaking down his funnel in my community, right? Um, and... I, I could not believe how many people he gets in front of. He literally gets in front of millions of business owners pretty much every single year. He has humor. He has conviction. He, like, it's these things that matter, right? There's only so much cold emails and DMs you can send before you drive yourself insane. You need to be able to speak. And I, you know, you, you can talk about polarity and being a bit controversial and sure that can help you get views but you need to have conviction and talk about things that others aren't talking about and just you know give more value to the market right you need to grow the market and you aren't making money simply because you aren't putting yourself out there like it's as simple as that i'm going to get into other steps and if you keep watching i'm actually going to share probably the most important thing last in the video but this is a huge one, right? So if you look at my channel, right, I literally get in front of 100,000 business owners per 28 days. How many people are you getting in front of? Ge it's a general, like a, an actual question you need to ask yourself. Because it's probably not more than like a few thousand a month. And that's why you're not making that much money. So yeah, like if you don't have the budget to spend on ads, then content is something that, you know, you need to be doing. Because think about it, yeah, Sabri, he has an agency, right, done for you, it's not a coaching, I mean, I think he does sell uh, a do-it-yourself course in addition to the agency, but he's still able to attract his clients, it's all about attraction, not chasing, like, I don't know, like, yes, outbound work, sure, but you can, and I, I'd highly suggest you pair both of them, you do inbound, which is creating content, and reaching out to people, 
So that's the first thing. That's the first skill you need to master, communication. So yeah, you can learn more about communication. There's loads of videos you can watch, um, but that's just the first one. The next one is the Rhino move, right? This is something very interesting. Um, so the Rhino move, Rhinos are pretty much blind. They're like 80% blind, but they run at about 30 kilometers per hour. And there's trees, there's, I don't know, whatever there is in that part of the world, but they, they, they run without thinking. They, they just charge. And that is what you need to do, right? You won't fail because you make the wrong decision. You'll fail because of indecision, which is not making any decisions. It's very easy for a beginner to be stuck in analysis paralysis, which is not doing anything because there's so many different things they could be doing. But please, for the love of God, right? Just do something. Because even if you do something and it's the wrong thing, you now know it's the wrong thing and can do something different. And if you constantly adapt within one business model, I'm not telling you to switch business models and, you know, have shiny object syndrome. I'm not saying that, right? I'm saying stick to a business model, whether it's an agency or a coaching program or um, selling automations, whatever it is you're trying to sell, right? Um, You know, just try different client acquisition strategies within that realm, And if you keep experimenting and tracking data, you will find something that works. So if you do content, if you run ads, if you try this referral system, if you do this outbound strategy, if you constantly experiment, it's inevitable you'll get, you'll make it work. And you've probably heard Warren Buffett say, it's a good year if he makes three good decisions, right? And that's true. But the difference is he's had decades of experience in analyzing markets and, yeah, stock markets, right? So you aren't Warren. You don't have that experience. You don't have the same belief system he has, the mental models and the cognitive, yeah, thinking decisions that he is able to have from having decades. And I'm telling you, one of the main benefits of me just being in this space a few years is the clarity you get, right? It's, I can't explain this to a beginner, but when I was starting out, I was thinking the completely wrong thing. I was concerned whether I should send this message to a prospect or do this thing. And it's like a completely different belief system you need to have, right? So this is your sign to stop thinking because once again, if you're a beginner, you don't have the right I can promise you, you don't have the right decision-making abilities to make good decisions. It's, it's, a, it's a fact. So just start doing. And yeah, if you do that, you'll find something that works. And yeah, like the, I mean, how it works, right, is your belief system is what um, has put you into the current state of reality that you're living in. How you think determines what decisions you make and what decisions you make determine the um, cause and effect, right? Very simple. But if you're thinking wrong, then you're going to make the wrong decisions. But the only way to make good decisions, in my opinion, or at least know what to think, is by doing through empirical knowledge, which is doing it as you go. You know, the opposite is conceptual knowledge, which is learning concepts. That's why I'm not a big fan of college or university, right? And yeah, like the way in which you see the world right now is wrong anyway. Like, because if it wasn't and you had the same um, thinking system as a millionaire, you would have millions, right? So like you just need to start doing. That's as simple as I can put it. Be a rhino, just charge at something and then at least you know if it does or doesn't work. So yeah, the only way to get better is by doing, um, do something and constantly experiment. So that's the second thing. Now, the third skill and yeah, this is the skill of, I guess, just like um, ruthless action, you could say. So that is a skill, by the way, that you can learn um, for those that are going to question that skill. But the third one is a more um, technical one, right? no code warriors. So you need to become an absolute demon in no code. Like learning automations and softwares are so in demand, it's crazy. Like I promise you, right, if you can learn make.com, which is just an automation tool, go high level, which is a CRM, many chats or axiom.ai. These are the three or four I would focus on. There are other ones um, that there's too many I can actually list, but these are the main ones. I think if you can learn make, maybe go high level, many chat, and then, you know, one or two others, you are going to do so well. And the best part is you can use the explanation effect to enhance how quickly you learn these softwares. And the explanation effect is a proven strategy that if you explain what you're learning, you'll learn it quicker. So if you act as a teacher, right? And you, um, let's say you, I don't know, do two hours 
on make.com and you're learning your automations and then you share what you've learned and what you've been able to build on YouTube. Once again, so we use our persuasion or digital presence, you could say. So we're sharing what we've done or what we've, le- what we've learned to help others. And if you do that for a long enough time, you actually then start to attract clients. And this will also speed up the learning curve. So the explanation effect is amazing, right? I always recommend explaining what you're doing because, yeah, you'll learn quicker. But um, And then you can actually provide these automations to business owners. Most of you are looking to sell automations or maybe you're running a traditional marketing agency. Um, but yeah, I definitely think adding automations in your offer is a great thing to do. Like you can run ads, right? Or you could do content creation for someone. But if you can actually add automation like into your offer, then it's gonna make it way more valuable. There'll be less people that can do it, thus making it easier to sign clients. So the ultimate formula would be you help a client get traffic. This could be through ads. It could be through influencer shout outs. It could be through helping them create content or even you could automate their content. So there's so many things you could do, right? But get them traffic, which is eyeballs. Then you want to basically build some conversion automations, whether it's an email drip campaign or an SMS campaign or a uh, DM appointment setter that you know is on many chats. It doesn't matter, right? We go high level as well. You help them with a sales process. You could automate that as well. And then you could also build automations on the back end to reduce churn or, or to reduce other things, um, cancellations. So there's so many ways in which you can use automation to save businesses time. So it's convenience and it's performance because you can actually increase the amount of money they make or decrease the amount of um, clients they lose, right? So yeah, you can see how it's insanely valuable. It's a skill that I would highly suggest learning. So, so far we have persuasion, so communication, creating content. We've got not thinking and just doing, which is like being a rhino. And then we've got learning no code, which is really, really important. And you can learn this just by implementing it yourself. Um, And once again, we've talked about the explanation effect and how you can post content around what you're learning, help others, and you'll start to attract clients from that. And eventually, after scaling an agency, you can actually copy what I'm doing. I've got the most leveraged model right now, and it's a model you probably haven't thought of. So information, regular info products are becoming significantly less valuable. So if I were to make a course right on how to build automations, it would be extremely hard for me to sell that. Why? Because there's so many free content out there on YouTube that you can watch to build automations. So it's just not worth me actually doing that because it's, it's competitive, it's not as inimitable, hard to replicate, and it's just not a good idea. Whereas if I actually, um, and this is what I've done, right? I've ran an agency, scaled an agency, and from that agency, I've given my clients um, you know, automations, whether it's a database reactivation, which is a simple email and SMS um, automation to send to their, their list, essentially, um, you know, cold email drip campaigns that I've used to get clients. Um, we're talking AI appointment setters for Instagram, Facebook, SMS, all these things that I've built for clients. I've then packaged up into a low ticket offer that I can then sell to the masses, which are just small business owners, whether it's service providers or whether it's, um, coaching people I I can sell this to, um, or even just B2C. And, this is the most leveraged thing and you need to understand offer adaption. So offer adaption means what you're providing now won't be what you're providing in a few months from now because the market consistently and continuously um, you know, moves, right? So if you're running like, yeah, like, like what I said, I, I started my whole journey doing short form editing for coaches. I then realized there's only so much I can charge if I'm doing editing for coaches because I'm not really driving a real return on investment. So I switched to an appointment setting model for coaches. I would place virtual assistants that I would train and manage into their business to send DMs to the people that they follow. I then realized that isn't that scalable after getting to about 15 clients. I then pivoted to providing automations to coaches, um, which was a bit better, but I still wanted more leverage and a better lifestyle. So then I packaged it up and then just sold to the masses so your, your offer will continue like adapt as time goes on um so that's just a quick note um and then the fourth thing which is one of the most important skills you can master and it's the skill of patience now please like just listen up because you're probably like oh i already know i need to be patient right but it's like a case of how long can you hold your breath for because there's like if you aren't seeing results right now which maybe you're not you seem to stick in there. 
because you know what you're doing right now does work. There's people in the market that are making what you're trying to do work. So it's never going to be the business model that doesn't work or the niche that doesn't work. It's always going to be you. Whereas if you stick in there, like what I said, you'll gain clarity around everything. If you stick in there for a year, two years, three years, then you'll be chilling. So yeah, how long can you last in the pain? And can you start to enjoy the pain? That's another question you should ask yourself. Try and find peace in the chaos. So stoicism is an amazing skill to develop. Highly recommend. Um, you can read the daily um, yeah, oh, sorry, letters by uh, Stoic, by Seneca. You can read Marcus Aurelius' Meditations. You can read other books. Um, highly recommend it. You need to be patient with the outcomes, but very impatient with the inputs. So what I mean by this is, actually having urgent intensity around the actions you're doing each day. You need to know exactly what you're doing before the day starts. So the night before, you need to write down exactly what you need to do, whether it's two or three things that are going to move the needle in your business. It could be creating that one YouTube video uh, tomorrow, or it could be creating that one content on LinkedIn, or it could be doing a 100 DMs, right? You need to write two to three things that you can actually execute on, um, and yeah, being impatient with them, you need to execute on them every single day. And then over time, you can start to increase that amount of volume through a team or yourself because you would have built up the consistency. Um, and then you need to be patient with the outcomes because there's always going to be latency with it, right? So also having purpose around what you're doing is it sounds so boring. Like I remember when I started, if someone told me to have purpose, I'd have been like, yeah, whatever. But it's like you either do something you're great at or you do something you love. Because if you don't do one of those two things, you're going to burn out very quickly. Um, however, it's a bit of a double-edged sword because in order to become great at something, you usually start doing something you don't like and then you realize, oh, this is actually quite, you know, I don't actually mind this. So for me, it was like building like automations and stuff. I, I would have never thought when I was like 10 years old or 15 years old even that I would be doing what I'm doing now. But you kind of wave, your, like you weave your way through life and eventually you find something that you don't actually mind doing and then you find a bit of purpose in it and you're like, oh, now I've got a team. I can make them more money. I've got um, people I can help around me. So yeah, just having purpose around what you're doing. Um, ideally something that's not yourself because if you have to wake up in the morning and rely on yourself to get out of bed, it's going to be quite hard. Whereas if you, yeah, once again, put your back up against the wall, maybe you put yourself in uncomfortable positions, which is a skill within itself. And the skill of, yeah, putting your back up against the wall is a really, really important one because you'll just increase the learning curve significantly faster and progress significantly faster because it's harder to become uncomfortable I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's harder to become like, yeah, uncomfortable because right now it's so easy to become comfortable because you probably have everything you need, right? You've got food, shelter, water. So you need to put yourself in an uncomfortable position to just speed up the learning curve. Um, yeah, also figure out are you pain driven or pleasure driven? So a quick example, um, let's say you're an employee, right? What makes you go to work? It's probably loss aversion. So this is the one side. You've got um, more like, pain so let, let's say you're an employee right? like, like what i just said and the the reason you show up to work each day is because of two factors you've got pain which is loss aversion you're scared of potentially getting fired that's one part to it and then the other part is pleasure you know that you go into work and you get paid and then you can do whatever you want with that so figure out which side are you more driven by and then go more in on that right leverage it so yeah a, a final thing that i'm going to leave you with which is very important is I see a lot of beginners start to panic, right? So like with this question, how long can you hold your breath for? What happens with beginners is they go maybe a month without signing a client. They go two months without signing a client and then they start to get a bit nervous. They start to panic a bit. They start to not act in alignment with what they usually would. And it's like a constant negative feedback loop because you get more stressed. You then take a sales call. You don't close that sales call. You get more stressed. You then show that on the sales call, the next one you have, and then you're just continuously in a negative feedback loop. So just know that regression to the mean is a thing, which if you don't know what regression to the mean is, it's essentially um, a rule in life that everything will become will become back to the normal. So an example, I usually get about five to 10 low ticket sales per day. Um, and right now, I only think I got like today, the time is it's the evening, so it's like 8.50 at night. I've only had like a few sales, I think maybe three sales today. And 
yes, my old self would have been like, oh, why have I only got three sales? But once again, it's regression to the mean. I, I mean, tomorrow or the day after, it could go more. And then it always balances out. So yeah, just don't be attached to the outcome. It's very important you be as emotionless as possible. Um, you know, whether it's, you know, spending money, whether it's... Because you've got to understand that, like, to get to a different level, you need to change your beliefs. So, like, right now, I'm spending probably fifteen to $20,000 per month. Think about how insane that sounds to, like, you. You'll, you'll be like, what the hell? You're spending, like, fifteen k a month just on business stuff. That's not even my personal living expenses. And it's that belief that you have to switch to be like, oh, yeah, that, that's normal, right? You have to spend money to scale. You have to do this to scale. And it's, it's the things that you don't know yet because you haven't become that person. Whereas if you constantly do it and you change your beliefs and you have better self-image, you'll get there. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like, subscribe, because I've got some amazing videos coming soon. And drop a comment for what videos you want next on the channel. I'm always open to providing more videos for what you want. Um, so... That'd be amazing. If you did get to this part of the video, well done, because you actually have a good attention span. Most people don't. Um, and yeah, if you want help scaling and you want to help building a personal brand um, and so forth, feel free to book a call. You know, you can find out if we can help you. Some people we can't help. And in fact, most people we can't help. So yeah, book a call. What's the worst that can happen? Um, if you want to join my community, which as I said here, I don't actually provide that much it's not a bullshit course right i'm actually providing you systems that i've built on make.com and go high level you've got about 10 to 15 go high level um automations like ai problem setters ai callers all that jazz um and you actually get free go high level which is awesome because that costs more than the subscription to join my school anyway so it's a complete win-win you save money and you get way more um automations but yeah, that will be the first thing in the description. I do not care if you don't if you join or not. It's just, you know, to help guys and I understand that everything's expensive, so that's why I made it cheap. So, nonetheless, have an amazing day and I'll uh, catch you in the next video. Take care.